Yo guys, so oh, what is going on? Went back to another preview and now you know what preview this is. It's that point in the season where we've got to talk Borough versus Leeds. But listen, we've got to talk it, we've got to go through with it. It's Borough, it's Leeds, it's tomorrow night, Ellen Road, quarter to eight kickoff live on Sky Sports. It's going to be a cracking game. Listen man, as I said before, if you're a neutral... You're going to love this game because I have no doubt in my mind it's going to have goals in it. It's going to be action in it. It's going to be strong tackles in it. The atmosphere is going to be electric. I simply cannot wait for this game. It's going to be unbelievable. Um, you know, both teams are in form. Both teams are scoring plenty of goals. You know, both teams have got standout players. The only thing you say, as maybe it's bad on, bad on Borough sides going to this game, for that Martin Braithwaite today has apparently gone to Tony Pugh and said they want to leave the football club. That's the only downside to this game for us personally. You know, will that give the Leeds sort of whole team and club and fan base a bit more confidence going into it because they know one of our players doesn't want to be here no more? Would that maybe unsettle us a little bit in the camp of Middlesbrough? Who knows? But that's basically the low down on the only bit of news to come out of Middlesbrough today. So like I say, it is Leeds United, it is tomorrow. It's the first of two games in this uh, championship season. So, you know, but listen, overall, it's going to be a great game, you know, and that's the one thing I'm looking forward to, you know, hopefully plenty of goals, you know, a lot of atmosphere is going to be there as well, and overall, we just hope for a fantastic game tomorrow night, and whoever wins goes three points clear of everybody else in the championship, including the person whoever, whoever comes second in that game, but, you know, at the minute, Leeds top of the league, poor second, both level on points, they've got a slightly better goal difference than what we do uh, going into this one, so ideally, you know, you no know, matter who wins it, you know, you're going to go points clear and it's going to look good uh, over the course of the weekend. You're going to have your feet up, you're going to be top of the league. It's hard to see a score prediction, you know, especially at the end of this game because, you know, as much as what people think me and Leeds have got beef and whatnot, you know, I, I you know, I do like I do like to talk about the opposition, you know. Everybody knows this in time of previews. And I will probably big up Leeds in this preview purely because of the bait players that they've got who, for me, have stood out, especially Kamar Roof. I think that guy has been unbelievable this season. The last season, you know, well, let's be honest... I have a lot of Leeds United friends, I'll be honest, you know. I've got a lot of fans that support Leeds United. And we have the banter about Borough and Leeds all the time and whatnot. And, of course, the video and everything else. We have, we do have crack about it all the time. But one person I do say, the one person I do talk to them about is the four individuals that are down in front of me. Pablo Hernandez, Saeed, Alioski and Kamar Roof. Last season, I picked up these lads so much. I said, you know what I mean? This season, I mean, I said, I said, I said talk about last season. So, last season, I said to them, next season, if they haven't already been last season... These lads are going to shine. And I think they have Pablo Hernandez being the first one. Who I think has been a standout player for Leeds United on that wing. Um, you know, he's been outstanding. You know, and I think I think he's got his goal against Norwich. I might be wrong, but it might be Norwich that he got a goal against. And it was a proper, proper finish. It was really good. Come on, Roof. You know, I saw him against Swansea. Obviously, that one was live on Sky. And there he was. Goal poacher inside the 6-yard box. Tapped it home. Um, you know, he's tapped it home and got a goal for Leeds United. So, Alioski and Saiz. You don't need to say much on them, you know. You know, if you've if you've played Leeds over the last couple of seasons, you'd see what these lads do to defences. You know, they go out wide, they come inside, and they overall they just try and split they just try and split up your back line, put balls into the middle, where half the time Hernandez or Kamar Roof's in there to put it home. So they're a strong side and this season, listen, this season, you know, the you know, the manager, who I apologise if I can't say his name, <laughs> Marcelo, I'll call him, I'll call him Marcelo. Baliasa, you know what the hell he's called. I don't know his name. I can't pronounce his name. But like, listen, he's got them playing the football that they want to play. They're very, very direct. You know, you know they play through the pitch, um, and that's exactly why they're top of the league. I should say level on points with Borough this this season because both teams, Borough and Leeds, are playing excellent football. Let's be real. You know, you know I have to be real with it. And people are coming to me already. People that I know and say these two, this is how the top two is going to go down. And people are saying already that Leeds and Borough are going to be our top two. And that's who's going to get promoted back to the Premier League. And at the minute, you can't really question it because they are two standout teams in this league. I know Bolton are there in third, but they're three points behind us two. So, you know, tomorrow night's, you know, tomorrow night's going to be class, you know, but it's a proper game. You know, both teams come up against the best teams in this league, if you like, and I should say maybe he's or maybe strongest opposition in this league. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. Listen, I'm not expecting to go there and see Borough get a 4 0 win. No chance. You know, I'd be happy with a draw, and I'd take a draw right now. If Borough get a win, it's a bonus, you know, but in order to get that win against Leeds, and I think their fans have got to see the same as Borough, in order to get a win tomorrow night, you've got to be on it, you've got to concentrate, you know, both teams are very, very strong, strong defences, um, in the league, we've not conceded since Millwall away, I'm not trying to jinx that, but I'm just being completely honest, 
Leeds going forward are scoring a lot of goals, as you see, you know, they go different to slightly better than Borough. So, it's, you know, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a tough game, but it's going to be a good game as well. So, let's talk a little bit more on Leeds in terms of their wins, or, wins draws and losses. Wins, draws and losses. Sorry, I, <laughs> I went to cough there. Wins, draws and losses. They've actually not lost a game this season. And the same as Middlesbrough. They've won three, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, won four games. They beat Stoke 3-1, that was on opening day. They beat Derby 4-1 away. Rob, Rob from home 2-0 and Norwich away 3-0, which was obviously their last league game before they got knocked out the cup on Tuesday night by Preston 2-0. And they also drew, which is the game I already said about, Swansea 2-2 away. Um, and to which I spoke to a lot of Leeds fans after that Swansea game and they told me that the Leeds were simply not on it. Um, you know, it was an off game for them, but obviously, you know, Leeds bounced back and went to Norwich and won 3 0. So, you know, that's the kind of team they've got them in. That's the kind of mentality they've got that, you know, even if they draw a game and say that if they're off the pace, they've got no doubt because obviously, you know, the next game they're going to come back and blow you away. And that's exactly what they did to Norwich. And obviously, the league table have covered and the key players have covered. So, let's go straight to me starting 11 now. It's a tough one because, of course, with Martin Braithwaite coming out and saying that he doesn't want to. Play for Middlesbrough, and of course, he wants to move to Spain because I think, you know, well, well, well I know there's a club that's linked with him in Spain and he wants to move away. Um, of course, he did this before, but obviously, when he went out to France to go to Bordeaux, we don't know why he wants to go. He just probably isn't happy in Middlesbrough, which is fair play. Listen, I mean, that's just football, you know, that's just life. You know, pe people aren't happy with us, they are. People move away, or people will go to another job, or whatever that it may be. So, I'd say, if it goes, you know, best of luck to you, mate. Sorry that Buddha wasn't a place for you. But cheers for the memories. So Randolph is going to start in goal. We know this right now. Demi won't get a look in. Lonergan won't start either. So it's going to be Darren Randolph. The back four is going to go Ryan Shot on the right back. The centre back next to Aidan Flint. Because obviously I'm sure Aidan Flint will play. George Friend will play left back. I didn't know to put in centre back. Um, Fry or Ayala. Now Fry didn't feature on Tuesday night. Uh, against uh, Rochdale. But Ayala did. Ayala got about 45 minutes. Um, so I'm kind of thinking to myself. Who will he play? But I'm going to go with Fry. So I'm going to put Dale Fry in there. The two in front of them is Clay and, and next to him I'm going to go more Bessic. Um, don't worry, Johnny House has not been taking out the team in my opinion. I just feel like Bessic and Clay and yeah, okay, House and Clay has been working but Bessic needs to go in there. Now listen, Bessic should go in behind that's on Belonga. That is a possibility. You know, or whatever. So for me, I'm going to go Clay and Bessic but listen, it could be Clay and House and it could be either or. The one on the right hand side, I'm going to go Lewis Wing. He wasn't in the team against, against West Brom. But I feel like Stewie Downer was only playing there because Martin Braithwaite was often tucking in on the left-hand side. Well, Martin Braithwaite don't really want to play for us. And Tony Pulis only wants people that want to play for Middlesbrough Football Club at the team. Or should, I, or should I say at the club. So I doubt he'll get a look in tomorrow night. And like I say, if he does play Martin Braithwaite, I'll be very, 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 very surprised. So I'm going to go Lewis Wing on the right, Stewie Downing on the left. I'm going to put Johnny House in, in behind us on Belonga. But as I say, it might be more best he's playing there. It could be Johnny House in either or. That's the 11, I think, for it. We'll probably go with that. I think that's our strongest 11 that we've got at the minute. Bar Martin Brave, but like I say, I doubt he'll play tomorrow with him wanting to move away from the butter. So, like I say, that's been the preview. This has been the Leeds United versus Middle of the preview. I don't think I was too harsh on Leeds. I think I was, I think, I think, I think I was pretty nice to him, to be fair. So, like I say, tomorrow night, safe travel down there. Um, you know, unless it's still go down there, let's, make, let's go and make plenty of noise down Ellen Road. No doubt it's going to be a cracking atmosphere. I cannot wait. I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Score prediction, as I said then, you know, I would take a draw today. If you're going to get a win, I can only see being a one nil. I or should I say, I should say that's why I'd take, I'd take a one nil. But in terms, of, in terms of score prediction, I'm not sitting on the fence, but I do think a draw, I think that would be a, I think that, well, to be honest, I think that would be a smashing result. So I'm going to, you know what, no, do you know I'm going to go for a one nil, but I'm going to go for a one nil, but a win, get the goal, and just try and defend it, and just try and sit back on it, push on now and then, but just try and get that one nil. Try and get the three points, come away from that one and move into the international break. And then, of course, it's Norwich away after that one. But like I say, this has been a preview of Leeds United versus Middlesbrough. As always, if you have enjoyed the preview, like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again yeah, See you guys again tomorrow for yet another video. Up oh, the butter!